Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. And today we're taking a look at the Gundam Universe, Wing Gundam Zero EW. And this video is proudly sponsored by NewTypeHQ.com. If you want to pick up this or any other Gundam Universe figures, you can go to their website, and if it is your first time using this promo code, you can type in slash Kurosama at the end of NewTypeHQ.com, so that way you can get 10% off your first purchase. Now we're looking at the box, it is very, very gorgeous. I usually just have no complaints when it comes to the packaging of the Gundam Universe line. One thing to especially note is that the front illustration of the Wing Gundam Zero is it's so battle damaged and it's worn and I absolutely love that with this line. They put a little bit of effort into the illustrations so maybe if you're just not a model builder but you still like to weather your stuff, you can go ahead and weather this kit up to the front illustration. And on the side you are going to have the Wing Gundam. On the back you're going to see some action articulation. You're going to have a little scene of it just kind of like floating there in space. But you're also going to see the movement of the joints. And going further up you're going to see it in a very nice pose that it did at the end of the Endless Waltz OVA. Also available is going to be the EZ-8 as well as the Strike Gundam. I did manage to get the EZ-8 but the Strike Gundam I decided to pass on. And here it is, straight out of the box. So honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. The overall design looks really good. A lot of the parts are going to be pretty wavy instead of like the more like sharp and, and angular. It's it's curvy. The shoulders, the gauntlets, um, you know, obviously the feathers, but a lot of it just kind of curves. So I don't know if that's an intentional thing or not, but yeah, it's 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 a little bit off-putting, but it honestly kind of flows really well. Now when it comes to the colors, I think they did a splendid job on it. You got some really nice dull red on there, you got some gold accents on the chest, the gold V-fin, you got the really nice white, although I do wish it was a pearl coated white, but eh, it is what it is. And you're going to have the nice blue right there, so it looks really well done for such a cheap figure. For articulation, the head is going to be on a ball joint, shoulders are going to be on ball joints, this shoulder piece can move up and down. Really tight bicep swivel. Two points of articulation here in the elbow. Ball joint for the wrist. Now for the waist section, this is actually a very, very thin waist, but it can move forward a little bit and then it can go really far back. And the problem with this is that this part is actually quite loose and it's back heavy. So you're gonna be having a few problems which can be fixed. Rotation at the waist. You have a peg and socket system that you can rotate all around for the front skirts. Same thing with the side skirts. Back skirts have no range of movement. You do have a ball joint and socket for the hips, so you are going to have a pretty good range of movement for these. Two points of articulation here for the knees. Ball joints for the ankles. Feet can come down quite far. We have a side to side pivot. And the ankle armor can move up and down. Now for the wings, these are going to be super limited, basically going to be on this ball joint right here. So it can move up and down all around, but this part is actually not going to be able to move whatsoever. And then these back wings are going to be on ball joints. Now if you want to put them on a stand, you are going to have this little adapter right here, so you can plug them into any 3mm port peg. Now for hands, you are going to have fists, and two open hands, one is a trigger finger for the right hand, and the other one is just more of a gripping hand. And these are going to be made to hold the Buster Rifles. Now honestly, these Buster Rifles look amazing. I love the green right there for the scope, and just the overall like color scheme, the length of it. It looks great, and the hands hold it perfectly, no sagging or any kind of issues. They look phenomenal. You can also recreate some of those famous poses from the OVA. You can also take them and slap them straight together so that way you can have a combined rifle.
Now, for comparisons, here he is next to the Gundam Universe Wing Gundam, obviously both going to be the same size. I can definitely tell you, Bandai has done a really good job with this third wave compared to the first and second wave. Just massive improvements on articulation, as well as just the detail and the overall designs. And then next to the Mastergrade RX-78-2 2.0. Obviously, significantly shorter than its actual height when it comes to the Mastergrade line, but it'd be way too tall for the high grade line. So it's a weird middle between the high grade and the Mastergrade size. So in all honesty, I don't have much else to say. This is a really nice figure. It's about 20 to 25 bucks, really depending on where you're purchasing it at. I think I bought mine for about $22, so I'm kind of in the middle. But this is actually a really good improvement on the Gundam Universe line. Surprisingly, I enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a headache to get into some poses, just because some of the joints were loose or the stand just really couldn't handle the weight. But regardless, it does look great and it's going to look even more amazing on my wing shelf. So really happy to put it there and hopefully I can add to it whenever in November, the new Mastergrade Verka Wing Gundam comes out. So that's pretty much it for me guys. What are your thoughts on that? Let me know in the comment section below if you are going to pick this up or if this is just something that you're really going to pass on. But other than that guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.